What is going on everybody? It's your boy Will and I'm here to give you a little different type of review. So, since it's getting into the fall and there's not a whole lot of movies that I myself am personally looking forward to seeing until like November, December, I thought I'd do something a little different. Since this channel is a few years old and a lot of movies came out in the past that I frankly enjoy a lot of but i haven't seen in a while so i'm going to be doing a few reviews for movies that have been out for a couple years that i just haven't seen in a long time and some i like some i don't like and i figure i'll do what i like to call a retro review and the first retro review is going to be scott pilgrim versus the world this movie came out in 2010 this was directed by edgar wright this movie stars michael Sarah, who plays the character of scott pilgrim and also has a lot of notable actors who will go on to be in a lot of larger mainstream movies chris evans brandon ralph brie larson this story is basically a love story <laughs> so to speak. It's off a graphic novel called Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Basically, Scott Pilgrim is a, he's a bassist. He's a, he's a rocker in a band and he is love at first sight where he meets this girl named Ramona Flowers and he wants to be with her, but there is kind of a catch. Uh, in order for Scott to be with Ramona, he has to defeat her seven evil exes. Um, it's very much inspired by a lot of classic games from the 1980s, 1990s. It uses a lot of those in its stylized world of Toronto, Canada that we see in the movie. It is probably one of my favorite movies. It, I haven't watched it in a while, so I watched it the other night. And I forgot how good, first off, the music is in the movie. It's so cool the way the movie is shot. This is done by Edgar Wright and you can really feel his aesthetic in the movie. When I watched it, it started to remind me a lot of Baby Driver, which came out I want to say in 2016, 2017. And a lot of the way that that movie was shot reminded me it was reminiscent of how they shot, shot how they shot Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I'm not going to spoil the movie. This isn't necessarily about spoiling the movie or anything that, like that. It came out in 2010. I highly recommend checking it out. It is very weird, but it is at its core a love story um, with a not really a guy that you would think you would want to cheer for. He's not a great guy in the movie. He's kind of a, he's kind of, I don't want to say a womanizer, but he is kind of a wannabe player. He dates a lot of women. He's been hurt in the past by his ex, and this all revolves around two people who have made some not so great choices in the past and are really looking to start over, and they happen to just be looking to start over with each other. You do, by the end, kind of want to see them succeed. Even though they've done some things in their past, you really want to see them succeed and be the better people. And I think by the end of the movie, Scott does become a better person. My favorite character in the movie is actually his roommate, played by Kieran Culkin. Uh, his name is Wallace. He is gay, uh, which they make it well known in the movie. And it is part of the humor, but it also is, he's just entertaining at, in that role and it's just it's it's a joy to watch them like i said the music in the movie is it's so catchy and i forgot how good the music was and that was one thing i noticed when like right, right with the opening credits i was nodding my head i pulled up and watched the music videos a few times um it's just a it's a really fun cool movie it has a very different vibe and tone to it where it's almost, it's almost two hours but it doesn't feel like two hours it's a very quick movie and something in this movie too that you wouldn't expect there's a lot of action there's a lot of fights being that he has to battle these seven evil exes each battle between himself and another ex is actually very unique and different they're very much inspired by classic video games but it, they use a lot of that motif and a lot of the different pops of graphics on the screen which really catches your eye and just how it's shot the characters are not necessarily one-dimensional they have they're kind of you know they're they're really full fleshed out characters and it's interesting to see some of the actors portraying them like i said chris evans brandon ralph played two of the evil exes uh, jason schwartzman's in it karen Culkin. um 
Michael Sarah does a really good job playing Scott Pilgrim. It's an interesting movie. It's really fun. I think it was a hard sell for some people because they were seeing mostly the, the graphics from the video game side of things on it and they probably were turned off from it. But it is a really interesting kind of love story. And it's interesting how Scott and Ramona's relationship develops and how they develop with people and how they grow by the end of the movie. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything. It's a really fun movie. It's only two hours. I highly recommend checking out Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. It is one of my guilty pleasures. I just really wanted to check it out because I realized I hadn't watched it in probably like almost like three, four years when I decided I want to start doing some of these older reviews. And I just figured it would be a fun one to start with. So Scott Pilgrim vs. the World came out in 2010. I highly recommend watching it if you haven't watched it. If you like Edgar Wright as a director, I highly recommend it. I think it's one of his one of his best movies. It's very underrated. I think people get wrapped into Shaun of the Dead and Baby Driver. They kind of forget about Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, check it out. It is really good. It is a lot of fun. I'm sure it's very inexpensive to pick up. You can probably get it on videos on demand. Have you seen it? For the people who have seen it, what are your favorite parts of the movie? For people who haven't seen it, does this review kind of make you want to check it out? Maybe? Comment down below, let me know. Uh, I talk with my hands a lot. I know, it's in every video. But thank you so much for watching this first retro review video. I will be doing another one for Big Hero 6 because that's also another favorite of mine. And that should be coming up pretty soon. Um, let me know what other movies that you like that maybe I've seen and maybe I can do a review for or that I haven't seen and I should check out. Comment down below, let me know. As always, thanks for watching this and all my videos. All the Twitters and stuff are in the bottom and until next time, I will catch you later. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video and you made it all the way to the end. Aren't you special? If you did like this video, if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up on the description as well. If you click on my face right over here, you can actually subscribe to the channel for more videos. And if you've got a few minutes, why don't you check out a video or two that are floating on the side right here. Later.